Growing up, for me, cameras weren't even really an option. When you think about it, just the mindset in some of our neighborhoods, becoming a photographer or doing something along the lines in media isn't the first thing that comes to a kid's mind. They don't think that you could be successful in this. At the end of the day, the kids in my community, they've seen so much, you know. There's so many things they carry on their backs, and I just wanted a way for them to be able to express themselves. When you put kids in a position to do something positive, you're really helping them grow, develop. That's what Yassine's been doing for over a year now, and to me, it's remarkable. And the way this program started is really funny because I feel like I didn't really start this program. I feel like we started this all together. I would carry my camera in my neighborhood and I'd walk around all the time and all the kids would see me. They'd be like, yes, see me, yes, see me, you put me on Instagram. And I'd be like, okay, like, do you want me to take a photo of you guys or do you guys want to learn how to take the photo, right? And the kids would be like, no, 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 we want to learn how to like freeze the ball in the air and you know those light streaks on Instagram we see, like how do people do that? So I told one of the kids, I'm like, get as many kids as you can. Anything that you could shoot with, bring it. We started that first day and it was 12 of us sharing one DSLR. I was just like trying our best, but it was so beautiful because they were enjoying it. And I thought like, this is what it's about. Like, this is what photography is about. Photography has opened a bunch of doors for both myself and Jay and Yassine to just think that we used to be in the same position as these kids. It's always important to remember like where you started. For myself, I actually didn't purchase my first camera. I was uh, working at Livestock and I approached them with the idea of them purchasing the camera for me. I wouldn't have had my first professional DSLR camera if it wasn't for somebody else enabling me. Now that we're in a position to give back and, and that we can, it's really important to do so made me very grateful and the owner of Livestock who got me the camera at the time, he said, I have no problem giving back, but as soon as you can do the same thing, do the same thing. And that stuck with me and I made that promise to him that whether it was me or whether it was with my friends, we'd find a way to do that. The fact that they're gonna go from just their camera phones to an actual camera, thanks to the creator class, you're putting this whole new idea of knowledge in front of them, and it's just another step forward for these kids, and they deserve it. So stand beside a bag, and then I'll explain what we're doing today. Canon Creator Lab wanted to thank you guys for all your hard work because they've been paying attention to what you guys have been doing, as well as myself, as well as Yassine, as well as Charlie. We all look up to it and we all, we all admire it. So, check what's in the back. Allah. Oh. This is actually ours? Yeah, it's yours. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're joking. I'm not joking, man. We got cameras. Finally. Let's uh, help you guys put the straps on the cameras and then we're going to go to a couple spots and take some photos today. How's that sound? I see what you guys are doing before, but now with your cameras, like, you guys better go hard, 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 all right? Let's bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I see three, three, five, 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 six. One, two, three, three, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Take your camera, focus on the net right now, okay? And then just leave it here and wait till someone shoots it, okay? Got it. You got, got it? it? I got it right there. <laughs> through like Canon and through the things that happened today, I was able to give my kids cameras. Sometimes we would take photos on our cell phones and, and we took like 50 photos and the memory is done on the phone. You know, and now you have to delete some of the photos that you liked already that you took because to make room for the photos that you're going to take. Some of the kids today came up to me and said, Yassine, when I got this camera, I really thought we had to give it back. There is not a limitation anymore. I seen one of the videos of the kids' reactions when they got their camera, and I was sitting there with tears in my eyes. We made a change, you know, and like it was just so beautiful, honestly. It was just a beautiful moment. And the photography program that we do was the means that we use that to happen. And I want as many kids to be touched by that as possible. I started Shoot for Peace in Regent Park because it's my home and I wanted to make a change in my home. Although I've been able to work and stay busy and travel and learn new things, 
I still feel like a rookie and I feel like there's so much further myself or any of my other friends can go at this as long as they continue to take it seriously. And now we got a group of kids that could join us along that ride.